Hey guys, this is Todd here from ToddRecommends.tv, bringing you the review for the G1. Uh, I've had this phone now for about a week, and I'm very impressed with it so far. It's It actually beat my expectations from what I thought I was going to get it. I wasn't expecting um, anything great, I mean, with the new OS from Google and T-Mobile, you know, they teaming up and all, all that great stuff. You know, I have been an iPhone user before, and, you know, Apple, I think, hit it on the head with the iPhone, and I didn't think any, you know, any phone would come anywhere near what Apple's done with the iPhone, but I think Google, you know, I think they have, so anyway, let's get to the review of the phone, here's the G1 right here, this is the screen, I still have my uh, thing on here, so that's why you see that little bubble, it's not the actual screen, it's just a plastic case, but uh, as you can see here, we got the menu, um, we got this is how you make a call, this is your home button, this is the mouse, uh, your back button, and the in button here, along with the menu. So you hit menu, and the screen pops up, tells you it, the screen is locked. <clears throat> so we open this up, and there's your home screen. So you guys see, I got some, some icons there. And it's just like the iPhone, uh, you could, you know, whoops, we actually hit that. Basically, you could slide it just like you would on an iPhone. So you have three screens, that's all you can choose from, as far as I know. I don't think you can get any more than this. And then you got up here, you got, uh, your, your, I'm on Wi-Fi, this is my signal, my battery, and then the time. If you hit this right here, this opens up the rest, opens up the rest of your stuff that you have. And then you can use the mouse right here to scroll, to go whatever programs you want. Then you just hit this to exit. Um, as far as the keyboard's concerned, I wasn't really looking forward to a keyboard. I've never used a keyboard before, but as you can see, it, it lights up, and the keys are pretty well spaced. And everybody gets a lot of questions about uh, this over here, right here. Uh, is this going to get in my way of typing? So far since I've had the phone, I have not had any troubles with it. I actually like it, and you actually forget that it's even there, because when you see your hands on here, your thumb's way over here. You're not even close, so basically you use this lip right here to put on your hand like like so and it basically is more of a support for you. Um, I actually like it. Um, so basically to give my full review on the phone, I mean that's just the over hardware and stuff. Uh, then basically right here you have the camera button when you want to take pictures. You got your sound and volume here and then right here is the speaker along with the camera right there. And as you can see it says Google. Uh, that's about it. I mean as far as the hardware on the phone um, it does look, in pictures, it looks really Fisher pricey, a little cheap made, but until you get it in your hand, um, it's really small, I mean, compared, I mean, here's my hand, um, sitting there like, like that, I mean, it's, it's actually nice, nicely built, and really fits in your hand, I thought it was going to look huge and awkward, it really, it's not, and then when you flip up the screen, it kind of reminds me of a sidekick, um, but I mean, it's, it's not that big, I, I actually really like it. As far as software is concerned and the OS, everybody really wants to know about how the OS is compared to the iPhone, uh, Android is. I mean, to tell you the truth, guys, I really am impressed with Android. I have had no lag issues. I mean, everything that I touch with the touch screen, it does not lag at all. When I'm scrolling through stuff, when I'm doing web pages, uh, it, I've had no troubles whatsoever with, uh, with lag or anything. It's really responsive to the touch. But one thing I um, do have to mention is when you do touch the screen, you have to touch with your finger. It doesn't work with your nail. It's sensitive to the finger, your fingerprint and the heat from your finger. Um, the screen is beautiful. Um, the display, I, I really like it. I think it's really crystal clean and clear. Um, the browser works really great. It's a little different from the iPhone because um, you, you can zoom in and out. Let's, let's get up the browser here. And I mean, but when you have your finger and you're going up and down just like you would on the iPhone, it actually gives you a, you know, a button for to magnify, to zoom in and zoom out. So it's not too bad, but everything else, of course, there's no flash for it yet. Um, but it, pretty much, I mean, I'm on Edge Network and I'm not on 3G. So I don't know what 3G is like on this phone because in my area, T-Mobile does not have 3G yet. So, but I mean, Edge is pretty fast for T-Mobile so far that I've had. Um, everything loads pretty well. Um, as you can see here, here's uh, Todd Recommends TV. If I can see, I mean, it displays the web page fairly nice. It's not, I mean, it is the full web page, but you got to maneuver around. You got to slide over if you want to view more of the page, but you can um, 
magnify it in and out. So, I mean, that is possible on the phone. Other than that, I mean, I'm very impressed with what Google has done. I'm looking forward to seeing what Android con continues to make since it is open source. And you're probably asking, what about the marketplace? Is it compared to the iPhone's, you know, uh, Apple's marketplace? So far, I mean, I've seen a lot of applications that I've seen on the iPhone on Android, and I've seen some other ones that are on Android that you wouldn't find on, you know, uh, for Apple's. So, I mean, it just depends. And plus, you know, Apple keeps a closed shop when it comes to these apps, which Google is not. I mean, the Android software and T-Mobile, they're going to pretty much let anything that comes through. So, I mean, some of those applications that everybody wants on the iPhone that can't get on the iPhone will probably be on Android. Um, I mean, so, I mean, the debatable question is how, whole, how, how well does it hold up to the iPhone? I mean, I think it's two totally different worlds. I think if you're looking for that iPhone experience, but yet you don't really want Apples and you don't want to deal with iTunes and all that stuff, you're just looking for that experience and maybe that open source, you're part of an open source thing, you love open source, um, I would definitely look at the, uh, look at the, the G1. Um, I, I love it. I mean, so far, I, I love it more than I thought I would. And, I mean, it, it has the iPhone feel. You can do all the things that you do on iPhone. You can scroll up. You can scroll back. The only thing that I found a little annoying is, you know, like, this doesn't have an accelerometer, which I think would be even better if it did. But when you want to type and you want to put stuff in, you have to flip the phone to the side, and then you have to push up this and then begin typing. And you can still do the touchscreen stuff and all that, and then you can close it and go like this. I wish they would have added an on-screen keyboard. Just for, you know, those little small little things that you want to do. But, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I actually like the keyboard better than actually the, like the iPhone you do on screen. Because you could type like this, you know, and here you got two thumbs. I, I just, for me personally, I feel that I type a lot faster with the G1 than I did with, with my iPhone. Um, if you have any questions that you want to know further about the phone or something I didn't cover, you want a little more in depth, please leave a comment below here. You can send an email to tyrecommands at gmail.com. I just wanted to give you a good overview of hardware and kind of like stuff like this. Um, if you want to see some apps, if you have some apps in mind, you want to see how it works, please, you know, let me know. I just didn't want to go too in-depth. I just want to give you my opinions on the phone. I think the phone is great. Um, I would rate it almost up there with the iPhone. I think it's got some work to do with applications and stuff like that and a little more features, but give it time. The phone's only been out for a couple months. Same with the iPhone. It took them a while until basically the 3G and stuff came out. So it finally started picking up and people started to get it. So I mean, really look to see the G1. I think there's gonna it's gonna come a lot out with Android, and of course Android's gonna be on other phones. But um, if you're looking for, if you're in, the, if you're debating right now what phone to get and you don't want to really switch to AT&T, you're on T-Mobile. I would definitely look at getting the G1. I think it's their best phone that they offer. So I hope you guys like the review. Uh, please leave your comments. As always, head on over to TodRecommends.tv where you can find my live stream where I'm pretty much streaming all the time. You can find a good community there. We recently updated the website, so uh, there's some things on there now you can look for. There's forums now. Um, there's a lot of good goodies on there. We're trying to make it better for you on the community. But as always, guys, you can follow me on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash Todd K. Edwards. Until then, guys, Till next time.